Welcome back to Man Up, ladies and gentlemen. Great talking to Carl Eller. I could tell you love him. <laughs> he's, he's great. He is the king, no question about it. A couple weeks ago, you were talking to me about wanting to go skydiving. So I was talking to other people about it. Uh, Dan, my, my son-in-law to be. Everybody got all excited. I want to do that. I want to do that. But the number one guy surprised me was Dave Mordahl. Well, you tell me how it happened. Mordahl said, I want to do this. <laughs> Mordahl was the best. You know, we got to Twin Cities, kind of Twin Cities in Forest Lake. We got uh, Dave Mordahl, the comedian from the KQ Morning Show. You know, there, uh, and Dave was like, uh, I didn't, I thought he was a mime. He didn't speak at all. You know, he, he was, he was quiet. He was, he was slowly pacing around. Well, <laughs> and, I will tell you this: Mordahl as a mime would be a first for me. I went, you know, he never shuts up. You know. <laughs> and that's amazing. So about it. you set it up. You went out to Skydive Twin Cities in Forest Lake. Yep. They were great, I heard. Oh, it was an amazing time. Amazing nice time. people. Had a wonderful time. Let's go skydiving, man, on Man Up. You're going 90 miles an hour and you just kind of take off. And it's kind of impossible to describe. Best office in the world. Granted, like any other job, it's got ups and downs. But it's the best ups and downs in the world. I guess I'm a little, a little scared. I can't even talk. <laughs> Everything goes to my son, who will immediately lose it somehow. So. Happy birthday, Nick. Time to man up. Plane door flies open, and all of a sudden the wind comes rushing in, and you get to jump out of this thing. Drew did pretty well, I think. You know, he was shaking a little bit. He didn't scream, he squeaked. But other than that, he did quite well. Dave was shaking, so I think we had a good time. Tony was a little, uh, he was a little more nervous in the plane. He kept going, I don't know why I had the idea for this. I'm going to kill whose suggestion it was. Oh, it's amazing. There's nothing like it. It's the closest thing to religious experience I think I've ever, I've ever felt. It's just a, it's, it's a real feeling, and then as we're as we're going through it, he says, "Hey, you want to fly through a cloud?" And I'm thinking, "Fly through a cloud? I want to walk on a cloud?" You know, that's, you grow up thinking you can walk on clouds. Uh, so we flew through this cloud, cloud, and it was just a, it was an amazing, amazing deal because you know you picture this big fluffy white cloud, um, and as you go, so you, you approach it, you go into it, and it looks just like this big fluffy cloud, but pretty soon it's like smoke, and you can taste the. Uh, the moisture, you know, um, as you're going through a cloud and there's this white kind of rainbow haze around you and, and so you start to think, okay, well maybe I didn't make the fall. Maybe I didn't, maybe I didn't land. Maybe I'm, you know, you're, you have this this uh, comforting white around you that you start to think, uh-oh, maybe this is what heaven's like. <laughs> so, it was, hey, it was, a, it was an amazing experience. These guys at uh, Skydive Twin Cities are super, super professional. Um, it, it's, I encourage everybody to go to it and everybody needs to man up. You know, I got to be honest with you. I, 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 I've never seen that serenity in you. you. You had this spiritual experience, which I suppose is you're plummeting to earth. You would, but what was the deal with going through the cloud? You didn't know if you're landing or I what was that? I didn't know. Did I survive? Did I not survive? I, I prayed. To, I prayed to every every god that that uh, I've read about or heard about. Uh, it's amazing. Amazing. When you float through a float through a cloud, and there's there's a, a rainbow, a rainbow halo circled all the way around you. Again, you don't know, did, did I land? Did I not land? Did I not make that? Maybe I didn't make it out of the airplane. Why don't you take another punch? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's wonderful that, that you know, a, a boxer all of a sudden is Mr. Spirituality. <laughs> you got Dave Mordahl. You couldn't even see the diaper under his pants. I think he hit that very well because I know he was wearing <laughs> oh. it. There's no question about it. A, a guy as big as Drew Peterson. I mean, he loved it, though. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's, he's a nuts. big guy. He's crazy. And you'd think he'd really plummet, but Drew did a great job as well. You know, I, I, I didn't even get a chance to tell everybody that 
you know, as soon as I landed, I, I get a call from Tom, and I, Tom, I said, Tom, I want to know if we made it through the jump. And I said, Tom, I got some good news and I got some bad news. He said, all right, well, give it to me. I said, well, the good news is, hey, we made it. We made the jump. The bad news is your son-in-law made the jump also. <laughs> which is nice, <laughs> which he's now going to see on, you know, across the world on television. But now he'll, uh, he'll be my son-in-law in about six weeks, something like that. But no, it looked like you guys had a ball. Oh, it's yeah. wonderful. Speaking of having a ball, we're going to do next. This was your idea, I think. <laughs> I think it was his idea. We're going to come back and uh, read a couple of questions that you sent in. It's up next on Man Chat on Man Up.